Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back in Zamboni Simulator 2019 once again, and we just got in trouble for crashing a goddamn Zamboni. And we're not on probation. I know, it's my job, it's my livelihood, but I crashed a Zamboni. And I showed up drunk, by the way. So, I berated a child who was drunk and crashed a Zamboni, still not on probation. What the hell? What else can happen now? I'm actually worried about what can happen now, but let's head in and start the next day, shall we? We'll try harder. It's actually a life for you. Every time you try harder, you keep getting squished down and down and down. The music's a little bit more cheerful this time, it feels right. Is that false hope? I bet you it is. Let's turn it on. We know what to do. Off we go, do a job that we hate. Okay, make sure the rear is right up against the wall. So Janine's ex showed up at the house one day. Janine. I was halfway living there by then, staying over most nights, and I really started to bond with her kids. But of course her ex swoops in, and I'm immediately forgotten, discarded, weak old leftovers. Okay, he didn't seem so bad. He thanked me for hanging out with his kids while he and Janine were on the outs. Condescending prick. Yeah, but I got the message. <laughs> okay. Well, that sucks. You know, this sucks because this is this could very easily be somebody's real life, besides the fact of not being on probation. I feel like, regardless of how nice and soft you are with your employees, like, coming in drunk and then crashing the Zamboni <laughs> after at least three other prior write-ups. I don't know. We just show up, we do our job. It's just Janine. Joshy. So she has multiple kids. You're hanging out. I'll put quotes around that. You're adulterating. Dating. And, um, yeah. And then the ex shows up and throws. I guess you get kicked out again? I'm, ex I'm, I'm guessing that's what that was to reference. When Janine got home that evening, she made it pretty clear that she and the ex were going to give it another try. Awesome. Her to keep a baseball bat handy just in case. Determined not to cause a scene, I left and headed over to our usual dive to take in the local scenery. At the time, I felt this was a sign of personal growth. Okay. So he's abusive. Not, not me. The ex. So that's never a good sign. And I head out to drink again. Good. Well, drive. I think you said drive. I can't read the subtitles because literally my keyboard's in the way, the way that I have it set up for this computer. Alright, keep it nice, perfectly square, and turn. Okay, we can actually keep it. Do it a little bit faster. But we can actually go right in where it's solid. The dark and the gray. If we stay on the dark, it gets the gray away. So, good to know. It saves us a little bit of hassle. Just gonna make sure that we swing wide. That's the problem that I keep kind of forgetting is to swing wide. And this time, just because I think we hate our life, once the exit opens. Many, too many whiskeys later, I ended up on Marie's front lawn, absolutely certain about the pointlessness of existence. I felt she deserved to know. Oh Marie dear. appeared at the door saying that she just called the cops and I had a few minutes before they'd get there. I got in my car to leave, but it took me too long to remember how to start the damn thing. One step forward, two steps back, was past his prologue, all that. I spent the night in the drunk tank and missed my next shift of work. Oh good. Okay, so that's gonna be our next write-up. It's probably that attendance one that we saw really quick and then it kinda disappeared. It's probably gonna be attendance-wise. And probably still not on probation. Okay, so the ex comes back. I get drunk. We go. I try to detest that I hate life. And then she calls the cops. And then... 
the cops get there. <laughs> Man, rough, 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 rough life. I knew I missed a spot back there. You know, I wish I'd stop getting spam calls. It's November 6th when I'm recording this video, and <laughs> elections are over. I'd like to stop getting those. Alright, exit's there. I know I usually like to keep it, but you know what? I'm a drunk, asshole. That's good enough. Just don't go in the center of the ring. Stay to the outside. You're gonna be fine. Okay? Okay. Off we go. Woo! This one, I think, was short enough where we can actually get two of these in, in one episode. I'm all for that. Let's go through the exit. To face the dark, let's see what we get right up for this time, even though I'm pretty sure it's going to be attendance. Okay, so we got, oh god, we got a bunch. Okay. Okay, so they just started getting layered here. Employer, employee Q91 missed a shift without calling in. He used his one phone call to instead check movie times for his day off. Are you kidding me? First off, how do they know that? <laughs> um... Oh my god. We are on now probation for 994 days. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Uh, that's, let's see, let's do some quick math there. That would be 2.72 years that we're on probation as a Zamboni driver. Destruction of property and in, in like being a tyrant to patrons. No, calling in, not calling in because I was drunk. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um. Let's head in. Let's. We're on probation already. Let's go burn it down. You know what? We're gonna go right through it. We're gonna go right for it. Here we go. And I thought the music was getting happier. Nothing's changed. I keep looking around to see if anything might change. Start her up and let's do a job. Now I'm just, I'm more interested in just learning about his story here. So I just want him to keep talking. So we're on probation. We're alone with our thoughts. We work at night anyway. Pretty well staffed place, by the way. If we got definitely two Zamboni drivers. We know we got this other chick. Oh my goodness, sorry. He's working in management. See, he just oh, misses the whole man. side. High school. Yeah, high school was pretty good for me. I was a star, starting right wing for the Hornets. I'm sure you saw the papers back then. We were unstoppable. But back then, I spent very few Friday nights alone. It was a pretty big school, and I cut a, a, a swath through it. I was even scouted it. It wasn't in the cards. Yeah, so it kind of comes down to anybody who's played sports in high school and thinks that they're the best. You're not. And then you're living on past glory. Great. And that comes from somebody who did high school sports. A lot. Don't live in the past, my friend. Don't think about the glory days. It's not good. Just remember, going to college, going to pro, is a lot different than when you're in high school. There's hundreds and thousands of people who can do it much better than you can. Always. Always somebody better. Okay, so we're, we're, this, this time around, we're living in glory days. We haven't gone into anything bad yet. He's talking about how he slept around a lot. Music has stopped. Okay. It's like, don't tell me that's a sign. We're only going to haphazardly do the rink this time, because now we're just invested in the story. The The rink itself is just becoming repetitive, but now I need no answers. Plan. I had nothing. I graduated on time, which is about all that can be said about that. So I took a job at the rink. Ice resurfacing technician, junior grade for the tundra. <laughs> Joke of a title, but there you have it. The girls disappeared friends everyone i married the first woman who was interested why not it's what people do right 
Okay, so the music is still way too loud, and I feel like the settings did nothing for that when we changed them in the main menu, so I do apologize for that. Hopefully you can at least follow along with the subtitles. I'm going to just crank it down to almost zero next time we're out of here. But now it's just unbearably loud once again. And I don't know if actually that's an intentional design choice. Um, I remember watching a movie a long time ago. It was called Yellow Brick Road. And it has to do with hiking up here in New Hampshire. And there was a hiking trail, a road that if you went up this trail, you went insane. Hearing music in your head to the point where it's so loud that you would lo lose your mind. It's the only movie that I've ever watched where I actually felt like I was losing my mind. It was amazing. It was an amazing feat of literally sitting and just being so uncomfortable in this movie and watching it. It was just on Netflix or something like that. It just whew, blows my mind. Uh, so I always have to share that any chance I can get. So I'm wondering if that's the intention here with this music is to be... Yeah, we had to struggle to figure everything out together. Neither of us exactly came from good homes. My dad beat the hell out of me and... Well, let's just say her dad was worse. But the way I saw ah. it, graduating high school was something above expectations for both of us. We did okay at first. Okay, so we're getting into a little bit of your backstory now. Married the first woman, both come from tra tragic homes, both have very dark pasts, very, very dark pasts. And it's just not lining up for you as a champ. Okay, I get it. I get, I get what's, I get what we're trying to be fed here. I can see it. You know, if we're doing, trying to do a haphazard job, we're not doing too bad. I mean, it's definitely, it's like stacked like a staircase, but besides that, <laughs> we're, we're doing great. I can't even see our progress bar. Ah, we're close. Okay. That was two, right? That was two lines. We should have a third. Don't we have to get a third? So we talked about football and being together. Maybe we did have a third. Huh. Back it up. Head back down the center of the rink. Yeah, we're just gonna play this one out to the end. <laughs> we're just gonna see how it does, how we do, how we feel about it. It's interesting because while I'm playing this computer, I've got Steam open on the other side. I'm looking at all these games that I just, I can't wait to play for you guys. And a couple that I have no idea how I'm going to record them. Because OB, uh, OBS doesn't recognize them. Oh, exit's open. Commentary's done. Out the exit we go. Question is, what are we going to be in trouble for this time? We're on to probation for 994 days. I assume it's not going to be good. And I highly doubt 994 days has passed. Let's head out. Alright, here we go. Okay, something to do with in obedience this time. We are not on probation. I still agree. Employee Q91 for me of his... Distate? I can't even see that here. I'm gonna assume it's supposed to be distaste. Yeah, distaste. Okay. Uh, for the new uniform, saying the old one was just as good. He tossed the new one in the trash and clocked out. We are not a pleasant person. But we're not on probation. So I have no idea how th this is jumping around. First thing we're gonna do, music almost all the way down. That's what it's gonna be. Okay, but that's where we're going to end it for this one, guys. Come into the next episode to figure out the rest of the story here in Zamboni Simulator as we find it out ourselves. But I thank you guys for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.